What Where's the? that top hat? Oh no! You're a ghost? Ooh, oh, of course I am. That's becoming very trendy. People these days just can't let go. What do you want? I'm not properly dead. This is a real mess up. Take me back. Why am I still here, even though I should be dead? This is an outrage. I want to be revived on the spot. I'm sorry, there's no chance of that. I bumped you off good and proper. There you are, lying over there, as defunct as a fridge in the Arctic. And it's <laughs> not my fault you're a ghost. You just have to let go, lad. Live! I just want to live, for heaven's sake. I want to live! I'm too young to die! You're already dead. Too young to be dead! That isn't up to me. Sorry. It's all in the book. Well, this could all be a terrible mistake. A mistake? You are dead, aren't you? Not undead or the like. As a doorknob, but maybe I wasn't supposed to die yet. Of course you were. It's in the Book of the Dead. But I'm the one who wrote my name in the Book of the Dead. <laughs> Oh? Oh, damn. It was just too good to be true. Do you have any idea what this means? Whole load of paperwork? Uh, lot of paperwork? No, that means I have changed the course of things. I've hugely overstepped my authority. They'll skin me at the next audit. It's not going to escape the internal auditor's attention that an unregistered ghost is floating around the place. You wouldn't believe what they did to the norms when they fiddled the books. What if you bring me back to life and we tear the page out of the Book of the Dead and never tell anyone about this little episode? That... that might be an option. And you wouldn't really mind having to live again? No, i will just have to tough it out. Hmm. Okay. Come on, then. Lie back into your body. Well, let's do it. Should be simple enough. <gasps> I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your desire to die. Don't worry. It was an interesting experience. I still have the amulet. Master Marcus will be so amazed. Awesome. Alright, so I've got an amulet, I've got a potion, and the top hat is back again. Hmm. You sure I can't Hello, borrow Death. that? Hello. I'm sorry if my death might have caused you some trouble. I didn't think my death would have any serious consequences. I'm sorry. Oh, I shouldn't have killed you. It's just I've waited for this for so long, and it really is quite good fun. Maybe... maybe you should look for another job. Yes, death is not such a dependable business as people think. But what could I do? You could, uh, find yourself a hobby. You could look for an interesting hobby. Breeding toads, for example. I don't like animals. Mm. Or you you could collect something. I already collect dying people's last words. So far, I've got none. Or, or you could take up reading? The only book that interests me is full of empty pages. I don't think hobbies are really my thing. So I'm curious about something. How is the Book of the Dead completely empty? When there's a war going on, and apparently a bunch of mages died, and the merchant had wands from those dead mages. Doesn't make sense to me. Uh, perhaps you could do something athletic. You could go into training. Get the old bones back in shape. <laughs> I'm not really the dynamic, sporty type. Hmm. Maybe you could coach a junior cricket team. You could be a real bone grinder. People will call <laughs> you Coach Death. Doesn't that sound good? Not <laughs> to me. Well, how about another profession? How about another profession? Your own business? 
Mm, I've thought about that too. Becoming my own boss, making my own decisions. Exactly. I'm sure there's lots of things you could do. Uh, what do you suggest? Well, you've kind of got a model's figure. Maybe you should consider the fashion business. I could imagine you being in demand as a model. You have that emaciated look. <laughs> I only have this one cloak, and I don't know a thing about fashion. I only know about death. Eh. Um, maybe you could uh, earn yourself some cash standing on the corner of a biology class. You could go into research or assist in biology classes. You mean I should lift my cloak in front of a bunch of kids and get reported by the parents? Oh. I'm not doing that. Not again. Ooh. My, my, Death, you've been doing some weird things. How about a contract well, killer? Well, knows more about killing than you do. So maybe you could work as a hitman, a uh, skeleton. <laughs> Sometimes I have the feeling you don't listen to me. You can't die here. Should I just bury the people alive? I... Wait a minute. That's it. What? Live burials. Uh... Huh? I'll become a grave digger, like my father. I'll offer to bury people alive for a small fee. Hmm. So, who's going to be interested in that? But who who wants to be buried alive? There are plenty of people who do. Young really? people humiliated by their friends. Old eh. stars who don't want to be in the public eye anymore. Rich husbands. Hmm. But what would rich husbands get out of being buried alive? Nothing at all. But there's certainly something in it for the future widow. <laughs> who pays the bills is incidental. I come uh -huh. from a long line of gnomes, and we gnomes are known to have the occasional truly strange idea. But never, not once in my entire life have I heard such a... Don't say a word. You can be my partner. There's lots to do. We've got to order some coffins and do some publicity. Uh -huh. You want me to be your business partner? Certainly. There's lots to do. And after all, it was your idea that I should find myself a new job. Eh. Well, I'm honored, but... First of all, you'll have to raise some venture capital. You'll have to convince someone with a lot of gold that our business idea has a future. Someone it with does? a lot of gold, huh? I'll begin trials in the meantime. Trials? You can't sell a service like this without trying it out yourself. Death and Gnome Live Burials Limited offers only the highest quality, complete with 100% guarantee. Write that down. Well, you seem to be writing it down just fine yourself. Um, could I get that top hat since I came up with such a great idea? Hiya. Hello, partner. I was just thinking about doing coffins with our logo. What do you want to discuss? Our logo? What logo is that? Anyway, um, could I borrow that top hat? Could you hat? your top hat for a bit? I'll bring it back to you in top shape. You want to repair it? Then would you just... Amps. Uh, nothing new there. Well, I gotta get I'll going. Then I'll just go. I'll do some more work. Yes, time is money. Yeah, um... Someone with a lot of money. I know someone like that. Someone like you. I don't know why you'd be interested, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? Perhaps if I can get him funded, he'll give me the top hat. All right, I've got a rabbit Look, here. Here's the rabbit for the spell. And a white one at that. That's perfect. Now we just need the top hat. On my way. Well, I've got this uh, business idea I'd like to suggest. I'm, I'm supposed to ask you if you want in on a new business proposition. I've always got a spare ear for that. Tell me about it. Death wants to offer live burials. What are live burials? You bury people. Living people. That's complete nonsense. <laughs> I know. How much capital does he need? What? I thought you said the idea was ridiculous. 
That doesn't mean there isn't any money in it. Think about it. Hmm. Death abandons his previous business model and strives aggressively into new markets. And I, as the widely recognized expert of the future, see excellent prospects for success. But who would want to be buried alive? No one. But that's not important. We'll get the money directly from the capital markets. Investors will be queuing up. Hmm. Um, okay, so I can tell Death you'll provide him with financial backing? Of course. I'll come over this afternoon and discuss it all with him. In the meantime, I'll start feeding the rumor mill. Hmm. Awesome. Okay, then. So, you do do things through rumors. Right, uh, so why are you investing in this crazy idea? I don't get it. Why give death money when he'll never earn a single gold piece with his live burials? That's not the point. We'll sell the story, the vision. But sooner or later people will realize what a stupid idea that is. Naturally, but that'll take time. First, we need a glossy prospectus with pretty coffins and some joint ventures that create media attention. Sign up some celebs to give testimonials. Then the operational losses won't trouble us so much. We spend mm -hmm. loads of gold and more and more fortune tellers will predict a good future for our company. Why should they? Because the shares they have in the company will then rise. And they'll not only make a profit, but also prove that they were right. I didn't mm -hmm. understand any of that. That's good. If everyone understood, who could I sell my fortune telling to? Yeah, well, sounds like the stock market to me. I gotta carry I'll on. I'll just be going. I have seen that you are going to come back. See you then. Yeah, well, I still need that spell, so we'll go from there. Let's check out death. Wait a minute, is he... he's right there. I can't go into the boat anymore. Hello, death. And you've got the top hat. I need that. What, what exactly are you doing there? What does it look like? I've dug a grave. With grandfather's old spade in my hand and father's top hat on my head. It's simply brilliant. <laughs> I asked the wealthy showman about risk capital. He may want to join us. Excellent. It's going to be a success, I'm certain. There's a real gap in the market. Makes you wonder why no one thought of it before. I can think eh. of a thousand good reasons right off. How are the trials going? So far, so good. It didn't take long to dig the grave. I've got the coffin here. Oh, of course, it doesn't meet the standards we're aiming for, but it's good enough for the trials. Certainly. Good. Then climb in. What? Uh... uh I'm kind of afraid of I'm the afraid dark. I'm afraid of the dark and claustrophobic, and I'm terrified of coffins. That's fantastic. Then we can find out how to deal with problem customers. Come on, jump in. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. As uh, a shareholder, I demand a better yeah. coffin. I, I want a more attractive coffin. After all, I, I am a partner in the firm. You're right. But the delivery will take a few days. We have to use the time we have before then. Come on, hop in. No. Mm. You know what? You should have the honor of being the first to be buried. It was your idea. You should have the honor of being the first to be buried. Oh, that's... That's so courteous of you. Credit <laughs> where credit is due. All right, then. I'm too long with the top hat on. Could you hold it for me? Aha. With pleasure. Very comfortable thus far. Now... Pile the soil on top. Are you certain? Of course. Just do it. Fantastic. The darkness. The silence. You have to try this. We should have funeral music. And the customer should have his photo taken with me beforehand. Write that down, Wilbur. And we'll have canopies for the bereaved. Have you got that, Wilbur? 
canopies <laughs> and gun salutes. Cannons, Wilbur. We need cannons. I suddenly want some canopies. Happy, no? Hmm, food. Well, all right then. I'll leave him there until I've been to see the Archmage. Otherwise, he might try and bury me next. True, true. I guess it's time to go. Um, well, we got the top hat, so that means we should learn the trick now. Hello again. Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? All right, here's the top hat. I have the top hat for the spell. I uh, had to pry it from death's icy grasp, so to speak. <laughs> well, at last we've got everything. Come over here, put the top hat on the table. Put the rabbit in. Sounds good. That's not really in, but okay. Now I'm putting a black cloth into the hat. Hmm. This on top and finished. As you can see, an empty top hat. But... You have to do a lot of arm waving and the like. The audience mustn't be allowed to get a proper look at the hat. Then, you say a few incantations and make a big to-do about it. You haven't got a pretty assistant, have you? Isn't that... Once the excitement has reached boiling point, then... Ta-da! You pull the rabbit out of the hat. But make sure the cloth stays in the hat. Otherwise, the whole trick is blown. Quite clever, <laughs> isn't it? That's fraud, and it's not magic either. Um, of course not, but it looks like it. But, but, but I wanted to learn a real spell. Are you out of your mind? That takes months. I, mm. I can't just swindle my way to my diploma with a trick like that. Excuse me, you said you wanted to get your mage degree, and you said you needed it quick. This is your only chance. Oh, what choice do I have? Good luck with the show. Well, I'll give it a shot, I guess. I'll just be going. I have okay. Whoops. Um, I don't know what he was about to say, but uh, hopefully it didn't matter much. Time to see that mage. I think we've got everything we'll need. Hey, Marcus. Excuse me, Master Teacher. What is it? I have brewed the power elixir. Master Marcus, look! I finished the power elixir. What? Give it here. Did I pass? Unbelievable, but true. Here, take it. Be sparing with it. A potion like that is valuable. You've passed the first exam, Wilbur. That's already one more exam than I expected you to manage. I'll hmm. manage the others, too. If you say so. I have the amulet of Balthazar. Look here. Oh, my. Is that? Yep. The amulet of Balthazar the Brittle. How? Oh, how did you get your hands on that? I went through the mirror. And after incredibly exciting, meaningless, and challenging quests in the netherworld, I managed to get the amulet. I just can't believe it. Not A little gnome? To see. How is that possible? Everything is possible, remember? I almost believe that too. <laughs> if someone had told me that a gnome without mage history in the family would pass two mage degree exams in such a short amount of time, I wouldn't have believed it. There's a lot more to you than meets the eye, Wilbur. Thank you. And I'm going to pass the last test too. I still don't believe it, but I'd be happy to be proved wrong. Well, let's give it a shot. I'd like to show you the trick. Uh, spell. <laughs> Hopefully he believes it. I look forward to it. As you can see, the top hat is completely empty. Um. 
<laughs> <clears throat> um, abracadabra. 